Hi guys, uh, welcome to this tutorial on how to create a terrain in Blender and then generate a height map from that terrain for use in a game engine like Unreal or Unity. So let's go ahead and open up Blender. And once it's open, there's a few things we need to set up. So firstly, we're going to go to File, User Preferences. We're going to search for A and T. And we want Add Mesh, A and T Landscape, so we can have landscape generation in Blender. Alright, and the next thing we're going to do is go to the Scene tab. And under Units, we're going to set Length to Metric. Alright, and after that we can press N on the keyboard to bring up this tab. And we need to set under View, Clip. We set the end clip to a high value so we can see our terrain because we're going to make it to scale. Um, what, the scale that we actually want in the game engine. So we can go ahead and delete everything in the scene and hit Shift A to add a mesh and go to landscape. Alright. Now it's going to bring up an operator panel and there's a good bit of settings here. I'm only going to cover what we need to actually have a landscape. I won't go over how you can create different types of landscapes. Just what we need. So select mesh size and set it to 4000. That's going to be a 4 kilometer terrain. And we also need to set noise size to 4000. And then we need to set our height to something however high you want it to be, say 600 meters. And then it's still flat plane, so we need to set plateau to a high value so that it doesn't just cut off. Um, go ahead and play with these settings and pause the video. And uh, once you've gotten what you like, um, we'll go over how to generate the height map. All right, so once you've gotten the terrain that you want, um, we can set the subdivisions to something higher, say 512, and that's going to bring out a lot more detail in the terrain. Alright, we need to go to the Material tab and create a new material. And under Shading, we're going to make sure it's shadeless. And then we can go to the Texture tab and create a new texture. And we're going to set its type to Blend. And we're going to come under Colors, and we're going to tick Ramp. And we need to set this black here. We need to set the alpha to 1 so that it's solid. And then we're going to go down to mapping and coordinates. We're going to change this from UV to generated. And then we need to change these axes here. Make sure they're all set to Z. Alright. And then we can add a camera. And under the camera tab it needs to be orthographic. And we can set this orthographic scale to 4000. And we need to boost our end clip up to a high value so we can see our terrain. And reset the rotation. And then we can grab it on the z-axis and put it 4 kilometers in the air. And you can press 0 on your keypad to go into the camera view. So let's go to the render tab. And set the resolution to something like 513 by 513. Reason being... A height map is always a power of 2 plus 1. And I wouldn't go much higher than uh, 513 by 513 because um, when I would do a resolution of like 1025 or 2049, I was getting terraces in the, um, it was like really jagged in the game engine. So I believe it had something to do with bit depth, but that's kind of a little bit over my head. So I, this was the solution I found to work for me. Um, so yeah, just set your height map resolution to something like 513, 513, or lower, it, that's up to you. Alright, and set the percentage to 100, and we need to make sure it's a grayscale image, because we're going to only be using black and white, and we can go ahead and render. And there's our height map. <clears throat> so, that's it for this one, and the next one we're going to go over how to actually use this in Unreal or Unity. It's a bit tricky for Unity. Um, there's an extra step we have to go over because Unity only supports raw um, raw files for height maps. Um, and if you don't have Photoshop it can be kind of a pain. 
but I actually found a piece of software that allows us to do it for free. Um, so yeah, uh, Unreal's a bit easier, but we'll, we'll cover both. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one, hopefully.